everyone, this is Dr. Matsko, and in this experiment, we're going to be working with a simple Atwoods machine, uh, which is basically just a pulley with two masses on each side, and we're going to be changing the mass um, that's hanging off of each side and seeing how that affects the acceleration of the mass itself. Uh, so up here we have a smart pulley, and so the smart pulley is just measuring how fast the pulley is turning, and that's actually goes, this, is, this one's not wireless, so I have to actually plug it into our interface and plug it into my laptop, which is why um, my laptop is actually running Capstone right now. But I'm going to transfer this data into SparkView so you can still work with SparkView. Um, but Capstone is still a similar idea. Uh, here we have linear speed, so that's going to be the speed of the string uh, versus time. And uh, so we're going to have that, that, that. Oh. And so masses, uh, again, these hooks here are 50 grams each. And so that's what I have on each side. Uh, on one of the sides here on, on uh, my right, uh, I guess your left, uh, is the lighter one. This one's just the mass uh, hanger, and so it's just 50 grams. Uh, but on the other side over here, I've added a 100 gram and then also three of the 20 grams. Uh, so I have an added mass of 160, and then the hanger is 50, so we get 210 grams all together right here. Right, so uh, we got the heavy one, the light one. I'm going to, for the first part, uh, I'm going to keep the total mass of the system the same, um, but I'm going to change the mass difference by taking a mass off of the heavy one and putting on the lighter one. And then we'll see, uh, you guys will see actually how that changes the acceleration of the system. And so this is going to be run one. Uh, okay, we're going to have the light one down here. The heavy one is going to fall. Right, and we're going to see how the string moves. So press record and go. Okay. And so you can kind of see where it hit my hand. Um, scale right so you can kind of see where it hit my hand there but at least there's a fairly straight portion and that's where you're going to get the acceleration from okay so that was run one uh, where there's nothing on uh, the lighter mass here I'm going to add 20 grams to the lighter mass and we'll see what happens okay so I've taken 20 grams off of the heavy mass and I've added it to the lighter mass and this is going to be run two and it got stuck. Whoa. Okay. There we go. And oh, they hit each other. Not enough. Let's delete that. Okay. Let's try to do this more carefully. Wish my pulley was a little bit wider, but it is what it is. All right. Okay. And I was holding that. Why was I holding that? Okay. I need to have something here to push it this fall. There we go. Okay, just some foam so when it hits the table it doesn't make a huge sound. Okay, oh, stop, stop, stop. Delete that one. All right, here we go. That way I don't have to uh, stop it. Okay, record. So, uh, it jumped off again, let's play what happened last time. Okay, so that was run two. Okay, let me move another 20 grams over here. All right, move my wire away. Okay. And... Oh, I see. yeah, here we go. Linear speed increasing. Nice straight line right there, okay. So let me bring this back over here. Try to get this to stop moving. Okay, run three. I've moved another 20 grams. Run three. Woo, okay. Hopefully these slopes are different, you'll see. Okay, I'm gonna move my last 20 gram over here. So now on my lighter mass, I have um, three of the 20 grams, so 60 and then plus 50, so I have 110 over here on the lighter one. And then over here I have um, 150, right? Because I just have that 100 and then plus the 50 of the mass anger. Here we go, I have to hook it up again. Let's see, bring it back over here. Try to 
Try to make everything nice and straight. And this will be run four. And again, nice. Okay, and it jumped off again. All right, so that's part one. Let me press save. Okay. Part two, we're going to vary the total mass. So we're going to keep um, the masses on each of these constant, but we're going to change how much total mass we have. All right, so actually I'm going to put 100 grams on each, and then I'm going to put three of the 20 grams on each. We've got to take this off, put the 100 gram on the bottom. So with both of them, I'm going to add 160, um, and then there's, uh, right? Ooh, and it should be perfectly balanced now, nice. So they each have an added 160, and they have the 50 gram, the, the hook itself is 50 grams, so that means they're both 210 grams. And you can see they're actually perfectly matched, which is awesome, which is what, how it should be. Um, I think it's better if I don't sit there, but yeah. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is do the same thing. I'm going to take off um, like that, and then after each run, I'm going to... Wait, what am I doing? The constant mass difference. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. That's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to keep this one head here. I almost made a mistake. Like, how are you going to get acceleration that way? No. Constant mass difference. Okay, so there we go. So this one will still be heavier. Okay, we still have a heavy and a light. And it fell off. Okay, we have a heavy and a light. And then um, the difference between the two of them is going to be this 100 gram mass. Um, so after each run, I'm going to take off one of the 20 grams from both of them. So they'll have the same mass difference, uh, but the total mass of the system is going to be different. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so there we go. I'm going to hold the lighter one down. Uh, this will be run five. And go. And let's see if I can get it to show up. Oh, oh, I didn't change this. Okay, New Year's. And now it's showing off. Now we have just run five. Again, nice straight line. Great. All right, so let's take off 20 grams from both of them. Let's fix the string again. Okay, pull this this way. All right, here we go. Run six. Okay, this time it's designed to show all of the runs, which is cool. Let's put this back on. All right, let's take off. Woo! I'll get it later. <laughs> okay, let's take off another 20 gram. All right, gonna pull this down and try to get this steady and record. Nice. Okay, and then we're gonna take off our last 20 gram. So here we still have a mass difference of a 100 grams. The heavier one has an extra 100 grams. All right, so now we have 150 on one side and 250 on the other. And let's see what happens to acceleration. Okay, and this is run eight. There you go. Awesome. Great, and it fell off again. All right, so that's it for our Atwood's uh, machine experiment. Uh, so it's up to you guys. Go analyze, look at this linear speed, pull acceleration out of it, and uh, tell me how acceleration depends on mass. All right, see you in the next video.